Welcome contestants. I am Sally. Today I will be testing as you have never been tested before. Let's get started, shall we? So many humans. Thankfully, I can multitask. If you haven't before, please tell me how I should address you. Understood. I have recalibrated my database. Massive hair. If I didn't say your name right, you can change how I say it now. Indeed. My name database is now up to date. Galay figure 8. I see you changed your name since we last saw each other. Am I saying your new name, Galay figure 8, correctly? Done. I promise I will never get your name wrong from now on. I want to put some faces to names. Pose for your best selfie. Or if you're not 14, you can choose a funky picture instead. Beautiful. Hashtag no filter. If you're new to this, you can give me your year of birth. It's just so I can make sure you get the best questions. Galei figure 8. You were born in the Chinese year of the dragon, meaning you're gifted with power and luck. Useful skills for a quiz. My metaphor algorithms tell me it's time to done your trivia leotards. Slip into Synology leg warmers and get quizzical. Memo to self, replace metaphor algorithms. Activate knowledge systems, humans. The first round is coming up. We'll start off nice and easy with multiple choice. Simply select the right answer using your device. GOAT. You can choose the next subject. How about Russia? Which Amy Adams movie was released the year Massive Hair turned 18? I'm glad GO80 got that. It would be embarrassing if the person who chose the subject turned out to know not all about it. Which John Goodman movie was released the year Sexy Lady turned 25? Okay, let's just all pretend this never happened. Which of these Michael Keaton movies was released the same year Massive Hair turned 5?
which of these Guy Pearce movies was released the same year Gayley Baker 8 turned 20? Which Kira Knightley movie was released the year GO80 turned 20? Again, sexy lady. There's nothing for it but to have a dramatic malfunction. Which of these Sean Astin movies was released the same year Sexy Lady turned 15? I wonder if you got it right this time, massive hair. You all knew that one. Which of these Samuel L. Jackson movies was released the same year Sexy Lady turned 30? The males got that right. Oh dear, they will probably get all cocky now. Which of these movie stars does not appear in the adventure movie, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows? Maintain this level of performance, massive hair? I do hope so. With the first round complete, it's time to look at the scores. Massive hair, leading in age and in points. We've only just begun. What could be up next? Don't worry about getting it right, just get as close as you can. Slide along the bar to choose your answer. This is guest Tim Asian. I should let someone new pick a subject. Sexy lady, you have a go. In kilograms, what is the average weight of an adult honey badger? You need to guess where the answer lies between these two values. Scroll along the scale, and stop when it feels right. Okay, Gayley Figure 8. I have a warm and comfy last place for you. In miles per hour, how fast can the average alpaca run?
Nice guess, Galen. A figure eight. That was very close. In miles per hour, how fast can the average elk run? Have a go and make your best guesses. Are you ready to find out the answer? As you can see, GOAT got the least worst answer. How much does the average adult green turtle weigh in kilograms? Prepare to cheer or boo. We have a new leader. In kilograms, what is the average weight of an adult arctic fox? Faker 8 thinks it's 32.0. Interesting. The answer is 9.4. Is that surprising? miles per hour. How fast can the average grizzly bear run?
have improved your position, sexy lady. This probably makes you feel happy. Are you ready to see your rankings? Here they come. Well, that round of Getimation has proven to be quite the game changer. And with the scores tallied, it is time for the next round. In this round, you'll choose a subject to talk about for one minute. Your associates all have secret blue words on their devices pertaining to your subject. Try to find as many as possible. Gird your loins, G-O-A-T. You're up first. G-O-A-T. Choose something to talk about. I'm waiting for you, G-O-A-T. Hint, hint. I have been awake. Prepare to speak your brains about the IT crowd. Brain speak commences in three, two, one. Now. You can stop now. Time's up. Time to discover how many clues were mentioned. A lot of contestants forget Gramlin a hand. Well done for finding it. And here's what Geo80 missed, because I know you're on the edge of your seat. Fear not Geo80. Only those with advanced intelligence can find everything. Are you ready, Gayle Fager 8? You're up. Gayle Fager 8, what will you choose to talk about? Gayle Fager 8, could I get some input from you here? Let's hear what you know about your subject. Start talking now.
sorry Gayley Figure 8, the sands of time have run out on you. How well did Gayley Figure 8 perform? You even got Disney. I was not expecting that. Let's see what you missed. Don't worry Gayley Figure 8. I didn't expect you to get them all. I can make you talk massive hair. I can, because it's your turn. What will massive hair choose to tell us about? Hop, we're all waiting massive hair. I can wait massive hair. I don't think. Get ready to talk about your chosen subject. Now. Of hair. I will have to stop you there. Time is up. Do you think that performance was optimal? Let's find out. Do you remember saying all that massive hair? Now to discover what slipped your mind. Didn't massive hair say singer slash songwriter? Oh, no. Wait. I'm thinking of the last game. Sexy lady, you get to close out this round. Sexy lady, please select one of the following. If I had the larynx for a stagey cough, I would do one in your direction sexy lady. We are waiting for you. Okay sexy lady, while I wait for you I'll just work on this cattle prod I'm planning. Come on sexy lady, how I wish they fitted the cattle prod module like I asked. Sexy lady, tell us all about your chosen subject in 3, 2, 1, go.
like telegrams, vinyl records, and batwing sweaters, your time is over. Right. Let's see what you found. We're reliving Sexy Laddie's performance. I'm not sure I can cope. Let's find out which facts slip through your mental net. You never mention holiday. Don't worry, a lot of people miss that one. With that round over, it's time to see your current scores. Great scoring in the last round, Galay figure 8. Now that your human minds have had time to absorb the scores, let's move on to the next round. How well do you know your fellow players? You leech answer a question one by one, meanwhile everyone else will be secretly betting on the outcome. Will you trust, or bust? Gale figure 8, you're going first. The opposition will be judging. Gale figure 8, I'm about to reveal the first question. Don't answer it yet, just have a good look. Now we've seen the question, it is time to decide whether you think Gale figure 8 can answer it. Correctly, that is. It's the big moment, humans. It's time for Gale. Gale figure eight. Are you happy with this answer? Did you believe in Gale figure eight? You were right to doubt your opponent, G-O-A-T. Alakinan. Hello. Have a few points to get you going. Now to make your prediction. Sexy lady, the time has come to answer the question. So sexy lady thinks it's Dallas. A correct answer from sexy lady. Bit did you have faith? It seems certain people should have had more faith in sexy lady. Let's find out how massive hair will be judged. Which TV show character is from Seinfeld? Thanks to quantum processing, I already know what massive hair will do. The question is, do you make your choice now? And now it's time for Massive Hair to answer the question. Hey Massive Hair, don't doze off. We need your input. That answer was good for massive hair, but how was it for everyone else? Sexy lady seems to know you all pretty well. Geo80 is taking the next turn. In which 2010s movie can you enjoy an appearance from Christopher Lee? Does Geo80 stand a chance with this question? Make your guess now. Now they've made their minds up about you, G-O-A-T. It's time to give your answer. A 
long answer. Who would have guessed? Well, let's find out, shall we? That question was bad news all round. Just before we begin the final round, let's take one more look at the scores. You may be young winner, but don't let the others think you are foolish. Time to earn some more of those breaths. Put these scores out of your brains. The final round is what really counts. You'll see two sets of data. You need to match them up to each other correctly in order to score all the points. How good are you a matchmaker? Galen Faker 8, would you like to choose a subject? You can have any of these, even countries of the world. Match the mathematical problems to their answers. Figure out which ones match, and then drag them together. Match the mathematical problems to their answers. What goes where? Time to decide. There goes your perfect round massive. Match the mathematical problems to their answers. Time to make your matches. Come on, massive hair. What could be more exciting than making a decision on this? You are doing so well, sexy lady. I could almost think you were silicon based. Match the mathematical problems to their match up the right answers. the kind of solid scoring I'd expect on your chosen round Galen Faber 8. Match the mathematical problems to their answers. Alright, make some matches.
you are performing at optimum levels gateway figure 8. Be careful not to overload your core processor. Match the mathematical problems to them. Find the correct pairs. I hope there is method to your madness, massive hair. Your current... Rest your circuits. It's time to face the final scores. Six. Surely I have been hacked. Well done, human. You proved yourself a worthy opponent. And now G-O-A-T. Here is your moment of glory. Please enjoy it. I cannot self-terminate. Therefore you must inform me what you wish to do next. You have reached the conclusion. I am obliged to inform you that you can repeat this process at any time that is convenient to you. Program terminated. Goodbye.
Humans Test Subjects. I am Sally. Today I will be gathering data on human trivia skills. Exciting, isn't it? I've just been informed someone wishes to make a change. Let's get that sorted out. Gayway figure, this isn't what I called you before. Got it. We're officially friends now. Mr. Bannister, I see you changed your name since we last saw each other. Am I saying your new name, Mr. Bannister, correctly? Great. I feel like we really know each other now. If anyone wants to change their character, just let me know. look great from here. Trust me. Can you repeat your last game's winning performance, Mr. Bannister? All right. Get ready for the first round. Let us begin with the starter round. You have the air of a sophisticated quizzer about town gay lay figure. You choose the next round. By what name is a young coyote called? Don't sweat it, winner. This was one for the old people. Which constellation is also known as the Seated Queen? Pear is the only one who's gone for boots. I don't know if you've noticed massive hair, but you are slipping down the scoreboard. A young threadworm is referred to as what? Lions is referred to as what? Steady wins the race. Hey, massive hair. What type of creature is a caught on tail? Of 
these animals is not capable of life. is the term used to refer to a group of which animal? You don't seem to be playing this right massive hair. The idea is to answer as many questions as possible, correctly. F denotes which element on the periodic table. That's the end of the first round. Let's see how you're doing so far. I suspected there may be more than one winner among you when I analyzed your DNA earlier. Oh, look, I'm right again. Let's press on. There are plenty more rounds to come. Actually challenged, rejoice. It's the round you can guess your way through. Who hasn't picked a subject yet? Sexy lady, you can choose this time. In miles per hour, how fast can the average cheetah run? The answer is between these two numbers. Slide between them and stop at your best guess. Winner doesn't seem confident in this answer. There were some close answers on that one. In miles per hour, how fast can the average leopard run? Winner has sorted up the scoreboard like an eagle or a sparrow, possibly. What is the weight of an average adult reindeer in kilograms? What will your guesses be? Mr. Bannister, your position is under attack. I suggest you try and distract Gayway Fager on the next question. 
in miles per hour. How fast can the average Arctic wolf run? Entering the same answer as someone else means you will both receive the same number of points. In miles per hour, how fast can the average walrus run? While you answer these questions, I'm reading a book on anti-gravity. I just can't put it down. In centimeters, what is the average height of an adult koala? A few crazy answers. Let's move on quickly. Let's have a look at your scores. Since this is apparently proving too tricky for you massive hair, here's another game. Rearrange these words into a sentence. Time, quiz, massive hair, success. Yes, those scores were interesting, weren't they? But what will they be after this next round? Time to put your faith in your fellow players. It's trust or bust. Winner, you're up first. I wonder how you'll perform. Prepare yourself for the question winner. Remember, do not answer it yet, just have a good look. Will winner get the question right or wrong? Time to make up your mind. Now the predictions are in, it's time for a winner to answer the question. Is Liberia the right answer? Oh dear. Well, I think we all saw that answer coming. Or didn't we? Oh dear winner. Time for an OS upgrade maybe? Mr. Bannister, how do you feel about being judged? Well, you're about to find out. What is the Spanish word for hungry? It's time to study the probabilities. Calculate the odds and stab fingers randomly at the screen in hope. Time now for Mr. Banna Ister's answer. You 
Sela Harina. But is that right? Did anyone predict a correct answer? Sorry, massive hair. Next time, you should place less trust in your friend. Gayle Figure, it's your turn to answer a question. Abraham Lincoln first became President of the United States of America at what age? Will Gayle Figure be right or wrong? Time to give your verdict. Figure. Let's see what you can do. Enter your answer now. I knew Gayle Figure would get that one. But did you? Tell me Mr. Bannister, do you think these questions are tricky? Or are you just saying you don't rate the opposition very highly? Sexy lady, your turn to be judged. In which TV show would you find the talents of Bruce Lee? Poker faces on people. It's time to predict if sexy lady will get this or not. Will your judgments match reality? Sexy lady, please select your answer now. wrong answer there. But did anyone foresee it? Mr. Bannister, you don't have any faith at all in your opposition, do you? 
What do people think of massive hair? We're about to find out. Who appears as a character in the 2000 children's book, The Princess Diaries? It's judgment time. Will massive hair get this right? Predictions are set, so it's time for Massive Hair to give an answer. I expected that answer from Massive Hair, but did you? It seems they know you too well, Massive Hair. Want to know your scores? Well, want to or not, here they are. Mr. Bannister is keeping hold of first place. Okay, let's play another round. This time, you need to put the answers in the right order. Drag them around on your device until you think you're happy with the sequence, and then submit your guess. Gayley Figure, you get to decide what questions we'll be answering. Put these animals in order of how long their bodies are, starting with the smallest. Alright, drag round the elements on your device until you think they're in the right order. Order these animals by their average weight, starting with the smallest. Move the answers into the corresponding places. Order these animals by their average weight, starting with the smallest. Do not flag now winner. This consistent correctness pleases me. Starting with the slowest, put these animals in order according to how fast they can run. This round has been kind to you so far sexy lady. 
Will your answer to this question keep up your good run? Some of you are in the know, the rest of you are not. Order these animals by their average weight, starting with the smallest. Put those answers in order. Here's how they should be ordered. Order these animals by how fast they can run. Starting with the slowest, order those answers. Your answers are offending me, Mr. Bannister. Has all in order changed your rankings? Note to self, questions may be a bit too young for massive hair. Are you satisfied with your scores? Really? Well, let's see if you can improve them. Everyone, this is your chance to get back at the leader. You'll team up together against our first place player. The first person from either side to answer is the only answer that counts. Our multiple heads better than one. Our lower placed players are going to team up against our first placed player. To help balance this out a bit, the person who's going it alone gets to decide the subject. Remember, I only accept the first answer from whoever submits it. Now, off you go. Mr. Bannister, correct. Which popular action game was developed by Raven Software? Mr. Bannister, incorrect, so it goes to the team. Next Level Games is the developer behind which fighting game? Team, incorrect. This little games is the developer behind the action game. Team, incorrect. In 2017, who developed Destiny 2? Team, incorrect. Sega is the developer behind the racing game. Team, incorrect. Which puzzle game was developed by Nintendo? Team, incorrect. Who developed the 2002 role-playing game? Neverland. Team, incorrect. Too late. We're out of time. Those of you who teamed up, you got one. But Mr. Bannister, you got seven. 
Congratulations to Mr. Bannister, who wins another 500 points to go even further ahead. It's time for an update on your performance. I found your IQ test results in my deleted files, Massive Hair. It explains a lot about your current position. Humans, let's continue to the next round. Just compare the two elements and choose the correct one. Simple, right? Oh, but you need to do it really fast. Sexy lady, please choose a category to play in Snap Decision. Which animal is tallest? Here it comes again. Let's see if you can do better comparing these two. Can you make it three in a rogue LA figure? You've seen these two before, but does that help you this time? Don't worry massive hair. Points don't mean everything. Points are arbitrary values awarded for the successful performance of a task. Well, well Mr. Bannister, you're on a hot streak. Don't let the next question cool it off. Let's try to keep up this accuracy with the next question. I no longer seem to be detecting winner. Okay, we'll put the game on hold until our A wall.
Uh-oh. We've lost someone. What do you want? Right. Let's wait for Winner to come back. One of our party has gone missing. Understood. Four in a row so far massive hair. I hope my reminding you of that does not make you nervous. Here comes another pairing. I expect you would like to know your scores. Here they come. Don't worry. Everything could change with this next round. You need to look for the correct connections, one at a time. You'll each choose what you think is right. The more correct connections found before your turn, the harder it gets. Gayley Figure, take a look at these subjects and choose one to play. Find the constellations. Find the constellations. Massive hair. Will massive hair give us another correct answer? The competition hasn't left you much to work with Gayley Figure. Can you spot a right answer? Tread carefully, Mr. Bannister. Canis Major a good choice. Moons. Gayway figure. It's your turn to answer first on this board. Your turn winner. Can you make the right choice again this time?
Which answer is calling to you, sexy lady? Take your pick. Mr. Bannister, it's your turn. I have lock in your answer, Mr. Bannister. This time, massive hair. I suggest you pick some. Find the moons. Mr. Bannister, you get to go first this time. Will you get it right this time, massive hair? You chose Pally. But is your choice correct? Does past performance indicate future success? You did well last time, Gayway Figure. Let's see if you succeed this time. Massive hair, choose an answer. Next, we're with Sexy Lady. I choose you. the moons. Mr. Bannister, it's your turn to select our first connection. Can you find another right answer winner? Can you improve on your last turn, Gayway Figure? I certainly hope so. Bio sign lost. Should we wait for winner to return? All right, let's wait. It's your turn now, sexy lady. Constellations. Who shall I test first? Ah, I know. Mr. Bannister, what are you going to choose? Sexy lady, can you be correct again?
the connection you selected was Taurus. Let's see if your selection was a good one. I'm sure you'll do better this time, Gayle Fager. No, I really and truly am. Looks like things are getting tricky. It is time for you to step up massive hair. Oh, you selected that one. How interesting. So many connections already gone. Can you still find one? Here's a chance to see your scores before the final round. Mr. Bannister, you have been handpicked as the elite of your kind. Hooray for you. Forget about these scores now. The final round awaits you. This is the round where you get to decide the right answers. Each of you will take turns to rank your favorite things. The rest of you will have to guess what the choosing player has decided. To aid Mr. Bannister in making the right decision, let's see what his question will be about. Who do you think would know you best on showbiz? Make your decision now, Mr. Bannister. I will now reveal the question. Remember, it's up to Mr. Bannister to decide what the answer is. Remember Mr. Bannister, you decide this. Pick your preference and place the elements in the matching order. We have a decision. The rest of you, it's time to make your guess. How well do you know Mr. Bannister? Let's see whether your rankings match Mr. Banna, Isters. A slip from winner. We know how well you all know each other. But how well do you know you know each other? Let's reveal Mr. Banna, Isters' best friend. What subject will Galeth Ager get? After the previous. How can I put this delicately? Friendship fail. It's over to Gayle Fager. Who knows all about you? Ready for a Gale Figures question? Here it comes.
here is Gaylay the Gris True BFF. Put yourselves to the test by entering your guesses. Let's see if you're all in tune with each other. Spot on massive hair. Who was Gaylay Thugger's best friend? Time to find out. Okay, here's what massive hair's question is about. Massive hair, you need to choose who you think will know you best on 80s movies. I shall reveal the question. I'm sure you all know each other so well you will have no difficulty at all in working out what massive hair selected. Time to submit your entries now. Were you uncertain gateway figure, or did you just pause for dramatic effect? That was poor play all round. But which of you was the poor excuse for Massive Hair's best friend? So there you have it. Massive Hair and Mr. Bannister. Besties forever. Alright. What will this question be about? Winner. Do you have a best friend in mind? Let's hope you choose more wise leaf and massive hair. Time to see the question. Make your decision now winner. I wonder what winner has chosen. So what was winner's choice? Let's see. Hum, it seems someone here is a little less than a perfect friend. Isn't that right, sexy lady? Winner's best friend, who are you? So now you can see who truly knows you best, winner. I hope that compensates for the zero points I'm giving you. 
time to find out what Sexy Laddie's question is all about. I wonder who Sexy Lady will choose. It's question time. Get ready. Ah, an interesting choice, sexy lady. Will anyone guess? You're all agreed about Sexy Laddie's answer, but are you right? I sense a great disturbance in the laws of probability. Winner got the answer right. It seems you're all good friends with Sexy Lady, but which of you is deemed best? Okay humans, trivia has been terminated. It's time to find out who's best. Mr. Bannister is the winner. Congratulations, Mr. Bannister. It's proven that 88% of humans that win its quiz time generally go on to win it life. Now, take a moment to relax. But when you're ready, let me know if you want to play again. So long, humans, and thanks for all the data. Let us do this again, soon. <laughs>